Hello and welcome. We're the team at Vendor Society, and we're sharing bite-sized vendor tips and ideas in our interview series. I'm Katie Luxem, the Senior Content Manager at Vendor Society and E-Commerce Nurse, and I'm here with Danny Thompson, our Senior Marketing Manager. Today, we're talking about promotions and diving into lightning deals for vendors on Amazon. We'll be asking five quick questions of our Marketing Manager to discuss why and how vendors should benefit from this deal type. Let's get started. Are you ready, Danny? I'm ready. So an easy question to start, can you tell us what is a lightning deal and what does this kind of deal mean? If we come at it from a customer's perspective, if you're a customer, it means you're seeing the lightning deal as a product promotion on either today's deal page or prime day page as a limited time deal. So lightning deal is more of an internal term. It's normally a deeper discount of 15% or more. And the customer will see it as a red limited time badge on the product when they search on site and customers can only redeem one of each deal. So it's normally like a four to 12 hour time deal or until the allocated stock runs out. So whichever one is hit first and the customer will see like this little slider to indicate how far along the deal is. Cool. That sounds like it would be really enticing for customers. For vendors, what are some requirements for products to be eligible for lightning deals? Wow. Firstly, deals need to be submitted at least four weeks in advance. So you need to plan for these ones. And I believe for Prime Day, you've got to plan even further out. The products need to have at least a three-star rating or higher. And the discount starts at around 50% or deeper. And you need a good stock level as well at the Amazon warehouse already. Amazon are going to make proposals in Vendor Central, which the brand can then either accept or deepen. And brands have to be prepared. There's a sign-up fee. And then there's also a per unit fee, which is either a percentage or like a dollar or a pound off. So you need to select which one of those you want. We're also making sure like for e-commerce nurse, when we're working with our clients on this is that the product is retail ready, right? So there's no point promoting a product that doesn't have a good listing. So when we say retail ready, we mean a good tidy content, good bullets, a good main image plus infographics, ideally an A plus page and a video. And then for the extra push, we also say, make sure you've got a brand story widget and a link back to the brand store. So there's a lot to cover there to make sure your product is ready. You like can't just submit a lightning deal and then expect it to do well if you haven't done the prep work for it. Right. So it sounds like a little bit complex to calculate all this. Why should vendors run these? And are there certain times where they're especially beneficial? First is extra exposure on Amazon. You're getting exposure on that today's deal on the Prime Day pages. You're also you're getting that little red banner that's going to stand out when customers search in the category pages or the search pages. So it's extra standout and hopefully extra traffic and conversion on your product. The only catch is you don't really have control over when your four to 12 hour slot will be, which is a frustration of brands. So you can submit it and then Amazon make the next choice. Brands will often though experience a halo effect after the promotion where the product has likely climbed the bestseller lists and sold more. And in turn, Amazon bumps up, bumps up their search results and exposure for a while. How long is it variable depending on the product, the time, the discount? So we can't speak to that. But during Pine Day, that's when lightning deals are most beneficial to a brand. And I would say that that is the time that you want to be turning on your lightning deals is during Prime Day promotions. Just as an example, in 2019, Amazon reported that there were 45,000 deals a month, which is likely to more than double during Prime Day, right? So brands need to make sure they've got a strong brand and a good deal and uh, all the retail readiness that we spoke above before as well. So when a vendor decides that they want to run a lightning deal, are they easy to schedule and measure success? And what can vendors do if they need more help with deal types or kind of deciding what to run? It's super easy to schedule in Vendor Central. Amazon, for once, has done something that just takes you through click by pick, click, they take you through the options. And then as for results, you get quite good information on this one. You get the glance views, the units sold, so you can calculate your unit session conversions. You can also see the amount you've spent on the promotion versus the revenue. If vendors need more help, there are cheat sheets posted on Amazon Vendor Central, linked to from the deals pages. There are also blogs on the internet, um, e-commerce nurse. I know that, um, Katie, yourself, you've written um, quite a few blogs on this one. So there's resources there. If you want someone to make you suggestions and do it for you, monitor it and report it back, then you're going to need to work with an account manager, e-commerce nurse, or another agency to get that support. Great. So once a lightning deal is scheduled and kind of all set up, what can brands do to support the deal while it's running? 
That's a really good question. Like these shouldn't just be a set it and forget it, these lightning deals. If you're spending money to put product into a deal, you should, like in my opinion, make sure you're promoting it in your brand store during that period. Give it like top space on your homepage or under a deals page on your brand store. You're going to want to back it up with a strong ads campaign, like really push it through your social channels maybe and drive traffic to Amazon alongside making sure that it's retail ready. We've covered that above, but that's definitely something else you can do so to support your lightning deals. Also, making sure if it's a seasonal product that you're promoting it at the right time of year, like pushing Christmas decorations in April just because you're overstocked probably won't be worth the deal fee and however deep you go on that discount. Great. Really good information. And it sounds like a good option for vendors who are looking to run a deal. So thanks for joining us and sharing that, Danny. You're welcome. Thank you for listening to the Vendor Society interview series by e-commerce nurse. We are a boutique agency specialising in account management, marketing and consulting for vendors and sellers on Amazon. For more interviews, roundtables, blogs and information about all our services, visit vendorsociety.com and ecommercenurse.com.